me now, Arkansas Senator Tom Cotton. Senator, thanks for being with us. So when people hear the George Floyd Policing Act, I think there a lot of people have the impulse to think, oh, this is long overdue. But what is actually in this bill that people might not know that could damage law and order and public safety? You know, what they should think about when they think about that bill, Laura, is the need to get security systems for their homes and firearms for their families and uh, talk to their police officer friends who are probably going to be heading for retirement. Because that bill would make it so dangerous to be a police officer and so dangerous for our communities. Just look at the fact that it would open up police officers to more lawsuits from the very criminals that they are arresting to protect our communities. The last thing we need to do is make it even harder to police our streets in America at a time when we see a crime wave crashing across America cities. Well, when you think of police officers in this climate today, uh, I actually really worry about their safety. We want all Americans of all colors to be safe and secure on the streets. But if you're a, a police officer in a uniform uh, and you're on a patrol by yourself today, especially in areas that are having tri uh, trouble with crime, is it more <laughs> dangerous than it was you know, a week ago or less dangerous? I say more. Yeah, I think it's very dangerous, Laura. Just look what happened in Columbus, Ohio. Um, you had an officer who showed up uh, apparently in the middle of an attempted murder, and he shot this woman who apparently had a knife in her hand um, and saved the would-be victim. Uh, now, that's just the videotape we've seen. We don't want to jump to conclusions, but that's what appears to happen from that videotape. We'll have a thorough and fair inquiry into it. Um, but what did LeBron James, one of the most famous and influential people in the world, do today? He posted that officer's picture on social media and said, you're next. I mean, that is the kind of incitement to violence against police officers that is revolting. Now, LeBron James later took down that statement, but you can't erase the kind of terrible judgment that that shows, especially when it comes from someone who is so deeply in bed with the Chinese Communist Party, yet he will slander his fellow citizens who are simply trying to protect innocent victims from an attempted murder. Now, you mentioned, uh, Senator, uh, rising crime across the country, and and that might happen regardless. Well, wh while their boss is at the DOJ says that, you know, say that policing needs to be changed uh, and reduced, um, others are pre the FBI is preemptively sending a warning to local police departments about a spike in crime this summer. Your response? Yeah, we, well, we just saw the biggest one-year increase in the murder rate on record in America. Um, and as more police officers are worried about the feds coming down on them like a ton of bricks, you shouldn't be surprised if the police become more hesitant to aggressively do their job to protect our communities, which just means there's going to be more crime. And then you have big cities, or sometimes even states, eliminating the bail system and turning out violent criminals who just got arrested and arraigned for committing a crime onto the streets again. So many times we've seen crimes committed by people who should be locked away in prison. The media and the Democrats are saying you guys are absent uh, from the conversation over policing. Watch. They have no real plan to put forth for the American people. Republicans aren't on board with this legislation, and in part because their constituents, other Republican voters, are not necessarily acknowledging that there is a problem. It faces an uphill battle in the Senate where Republicans are averse to doing basically anything except virtue signaling to their base. Ha, huh. your virtue signaling, Senator. Oh, that's rich. Yeah, Laura, if they're waiting around for the Republican plan to make it easier for criminals to sue police officers, they're gonna be waiting for a long time. What we need to do is support our police officers, support law enforcement as they're confronting this epidemic of crime across our country. Senator, great to see you tonight. Thanks so much.